already getting light. Must be a real treat for your customers to get their paper before noon. Excuse me for having a cup of coffee. Coffee. I'm sorry, see? Sometimes I think you're being really mean to me and then it turns out that you're just really stupid. Load. What? What? How about, I've been busting my ass for the last six weeks to help you and all you have done to help me is to make damn sure that I am late for work. You overslept, you couldn't find your shoe, you threw up on the rug. Great excuses, Jim. Very creative, but not quite officially recognized excuses by my boss or by the real world, okay? It's translated through the bullshit meter. All you're really saying is, I don't give a shit about Maxine. Load. But you don't. You have zero consideration. And especially when you know that if I am late for work one more time, I am gonna get fired. You know, if I were mom and dad, you would be out on your ass so fast. Really? Well, guess what, Max? You're not mom and dad. They happen to support my dreams. Dreams? You call trying out for a job as a team mascot a dream? Yes. Load. You can't even jog around the block. I don't know what made you think you could do a handspring. You're like that turtle on the Mr. Wizard cartoon. Every episode, you want to be something different, and then halfway into the plot, you're crying, Help, Mr. Wizard, I don't want to be a construction worker anymore. <laughs> I get it. I'm not an artist, so my dreams aren't valid, right? Yeah, well, you're right. My suffering couldn't possibly be as important as yours. What with having to sell your soul and cursing under the spiked heel of Disney and all. Nope. I'm quite the baboon. I thought you were going to cut the wires on this damn thing. Shut up! You know, if you can stand on the corner and beg for change for 12 hours, you can stand in front of a grill and flip burgers. Hey, buddy! Right here! Give him some money. Excuse me? Give him some change. Why? It's called compassion. Sorry! Max! What's with this piece of crap? You gotta use the park brake. There's something wrong with the tranny. Sorry! Would you quit yelling in my ear? of compassion. Talk to me about giving handouts to bums when you have a real job and you're paying rent. You know, I bet he has dreams too, just like you, Jim. Oh, that's sensitive. A sensitive artist with the exclusive license on dreams. 
Let me just point out that it takes guts to go after a dream, okay? Jim, you're 32 years old, living with your parents, with a paper route you can't even get up in time for. I don't see a dream here. Because your dream is to never get a date. <laughs> Well, in a few hours, I'll be getting my cast off and everything will go back to normal. And you can be on time for your real job for the rest of your life. I'm sorry it's been such a horrible experience. Well, it hasn't been horrible. And it's been kind of nice, actually. Getting up early, spending some quality time with my big brother. <laughs> In a couple weeks, I'll probably be missing this so bad. Besides, I think I've gotten pretty good at it. Load. <laughs> He's dead, Jim. You know CPR? Ah. Uh. No. You? Damn it. Damn it. All I had to do was get through this morning. Don't you think you better call someone? No. No? There's a dead guy laying in the driveway. I think you gotta call someone. Yeah, but that is gonna mean police and ambulances and questions and time that I don't have. I can't be late, Jim. I can't. I am not getting fired over this. What? You may not care, but I am not willing to live like you. <laughs> Oh, no. You want to be happy. As much as I despise every minute at that fucking place, I need that job. And I am not getting fired over your stupid fucking paper route. No. Well, tell your boss the truth. Just tell him what happened. Would you believe my story? Well, then you're going to have to come up with a better lie. Because you're going to be late, Max. I don't see any way out of it. Unless... We were never here. Last one. Stay there, I'll get it. Kind of big. What? I said kind of big for a paper girl, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, I'm not really a paper girl. Really? Well, uh, could have fooled me. 
I'm just helping out my brother. He broke his arm. Ouch. So, uh, is that mine? Yes. No. Uh, it's, uh, somebody else's. Yesterday's. Sorry. That's okay. I, uh, I never learned to read anyway. <laughs> so, you must have some arm winging those papers. Oh, well. Do you work out? Well, you know, when I can. I bought a tie bow tape. <laughs> So, uh, what do you do when you're not delivering papers? I'm an artist, slash worker bee. Really? My brother, he owns two art galleries in town. I should hook you two up. What, what's your name? Maxine. Palance. Maxine. Max is fine. Is that your uh, station wagon there? No, it's my brother's <laughs> piece of junk. It's like driving around my grandmother's couch. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with it. Tell me about it, that thing. No, I, I mean, I really think there's something wrong with it. Shit! Shit! Thank you. 